the monarch will visit charities and businesses in Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Stirling. However the move infuriated some online nationalists, with one branding it patronizing and hoping the heavens open during the trip. The four-day tour will last from June 28 to July 1, with the Queen staying at the Palace of Holyrood House. She will be joined by Prince William, known in Scotland as the Earl of Strathern for one day and later by Princess Anne. A royal statement explained, the Queen will visit Scotland for Royal Week between Monday 28 June and Thursday 1 July 2021 where Her Majesty will undertake a range of engagements celebrating Scottish community, innovation and history. The Queen will stay at the Palace of Holyrood House, the Sovereign's official residence in Scotland. Her Majesty will be joined by the Duke of Cambridge, Earl of Strathern, for engagements on Monday 18 June, and by the Princess Royal for engagements on Wednesday 30 June and Thursday 1 July. In Edinburgh, Glasgow, and Stirling, the Queen will visit businesses, charities and cultural institutions that highlight the pioneering work taking place to further community engagement, education, technology, and efforts to tackle climate change. Reacting to the news on Twitter one nationalist posted, her previous union is dead. The user had a saltire being raised as his profile picture, and described themselves as a proud Scot who dislikes Tories and unionists. Queen Snuts Prince Harry, monarch want to attend Diana event during Duke's trip to UK Another user added, one hopes the heavens open to biblical proportions, during her patronising visit to Scotland. They accompany this with a vomiting face emoji and a Scottish flag. A third Twitter account holder wrote, Sponger goes on free holiday. However other users were more welcoming of the monarch. One wrote, the separatists won't be happy. A second responded to criticism of the Queen by posting pictures of a Union Jack and Scottish Salter side by side. The Queen usually hosts a garden party and investiture ceremony at Holyrood House each year. However, due to coronavirus restrictions, the event will not be going ahead this year. The Royal Statement adds, this year's Royal Week will continue to recognize the good work and contribution of individuals and communities, through a range of in-person visits by Her Majesty. During previous royal weeks, the Queen has visited Gordy City Farm in Edinburgh, the Technology and Innovation Centre at the University of Strathclyde, and the Royal Hospital for Children in Glasgow. In May Nicola Sturgeon was re-elected as Scotland's first minister, though the SNP fell one short of a wholly rude majority. She is demanding another referendum on taking Scotland out of the UK. In 2014 Scotland voted to remain part of Britain by 55% to 45%. David Cameron was later reported telling former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg the Queen had purred down the line, following the result.